Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and in this video, I'm gonna actually answer a question to a video that I actually just got done doing, which was actually transferring music from an Apple iPod to a Samsung Galaxy device. Now the question was, are you able to transfer music from a Galaxy device over to the Apple iPod? And here's your answer. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So this is actually one of the things I did not test, and I don't know why. Uh, maybe it was because I was thinking it was maybe one way out and not really going back on in. But I was wrong, so check this out. First off, I want to show you guys that on this iPod here, uh, there is 3,963 songs. Now, one of the weird things is that I did actually practice and test it out, transferring uh, a few songs from, let's say, the Galaxy S6 on over to the iPod. Now, what happened was I did not see that my music has gone up. Now, what's going on, I believe, is that it is being stored into this iPod, which this is actually 160 gigabytes of storage. So my guess is that it is being stored onto here, but not really placed into any playlists. And so this is actually what I've done. So I actually went back a screen, head over into the main menu here. This is where I have my device. And let's say we go over into download and a few songs that I've downloaded. So here's a few ludicrous songs. There is, we will move over five. So let's go to more and actually go to copy. We'll head over to the USB storage A, which is actually the iPod. And we'll go into the iPod control. Underneath music, let's actually make a brand new folder here. And let's call this one F50, just so it's extremely easy to find the change. So we will create this. Go inside of the F50 folder and let's go to paste here. So now I did actually copy on over these five songs right here. Now what we will do is pull on down. And as you can tell here, this is actually synchronizing at the moment, which before is actually just stating that it was connected. So now I will head over into the USB mass storage connected and actually disconnect it. And then this way what I will do is actually move this one on over to the next device. Or, I don't know, I, don't, I haven't really tested with the, uh, the laptop, but I don't have an iTunes account, uh, nor the iTunes program. So, I will actually just do this from phone to phone to phone, or we'll say phone to iPod to phone. So now, we're going to head over into the other Samsung device. Here we are inside of the My Files, we'll go over to the USB Storage A, iPod Control, music and here is that f50 that was actually just created with those five songs that was also created Go back and that right there just shows that the uh, songs are there and now let's move these on over into the galaxy s5 device storage let's go back down to music and paste here there we go we have the songs that are actually listed right there and let's go over into again the music application. Let's go to recently added and here's our songs. So as for the question, are you able to actually pull music from a Samsung Galaxy device and place it onto an iPod? Yes, you can. How is it stored? I have no idea, but here it is. It is a little uh, 160 gig flash storage for you guys to where you'll be able to put on as much music as you want to on here from all your uh, friends or family's Galaxy devices. Put it on here, then you can move it on over to yours. So this is a pretty much a now universal flash drive. So I hope this has answered your question. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe and share this video. I'll talk to you later.